All right, we're reading a translation, and a translation is a translation at best. And I'm not that great of a reader. I'm going to just admit it. But, as usual, let's get started. Hashem appeared to him in the plains of Moriah while he was sitting at the entrance of his of the tent in the heat of the day he lifted his eyes and saw and behold three men were standing over him he perceived so he ran toward them and from the entrance of the tent and bowed toward the ground and he said my lord if I have found favor in your eyes please pass not away from your servant let some water be brought and wash your feet and incline beneath the tree I will fetch a morsel of bread that you may sustain yourselves then go on inasmuch as you have passed your servant's way they said do do so just as you have said so Abraham hastened to the tent of Sarah and said hurry three shahash of meal fine flour knead and make cakes then Abraham ran to the cattle, took a calf, tender and good, and gave it to the youth, who hurried and hurried to prepare it. He took cream and milk, and the calf which he had prepared and placed them placed these before them he stood over them beneath the three beneath the tree and they ate they said to him where is Sarah your wife and he said behold in the tent and he said, I will surely return to you at this time next year. And behold, Sarah, your wife, will have a son. Now Sarah was listening at the entrance of the tent, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old well on in years the manner of women had ceased to be with Sarah and Sarah laughed at herself saying after I have withered shall I again have delicate skin and my husband is old Then Hashem said to Abraham, Why is it that Sarah laughs, saying, Shall I in truth bear a child, though I have aged? Yeah, I picked my nose. <laughs> uh, though I have. Uh, 
is anything beyond Hashem. At the appointed time, I will return to you at this time next year, and Sarah will have a son. Sarah denied it, saying, I did not laugh. For she was frightened. But he said, No, you laughed indeed. So the men got up from there and gazed down toward down toward Sodom. While Abraham walked with them to escort them. And Hashem said, I shall conceal, shall I conceal from Abraham what I do. Now, now that Abraham is surely to become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, shall bless themselves by him. For I have loved him, because he commands his children and his household after him, that they keep the way of Hashem, doing charity and justice, in order that Hashem might then bring upon Abraham. that which he had spoken of him spoken of him so hashem said because of the outcry of sodom and gomorrah has been be, has become great and because their sin has been very grave I will descend and see if they act in accordance with it with its outcry which has come to me then destruction and if not I will allow if not I will I will know <laughs> sorry uh, I'm kind of tired. The men turned from there and went to Sodom. While Abraham was still standing before Hashem, Abraham came forward and said, Will you also stomp out the righteous among the wicked? What if there should be 50 righteous men, 50 righteous people in the midst of the city? <clears throat> Would you stomp it out rather than spare the place for the sake of the righteous people within it? It would be sacrilege to you to do such a thing to bring death upon the righteous among along with the wicked so the righteous will be like the wicked it would be sacrilege to you shall the judge of all the earth not do justice and Hashem said if I find in Sodom 50 righteous people in the midst of the city then I would spare the entire place on their account Abraham responded and said B 
be whole. Now I desire to speak to my Lord, although I am but dust and ash. <laughs> what if 50 righteous, men, righteous people should lack five? Would you destroy the entire city because of the five? And he said, I will not destroy if I find 45. He further continued to speak to him. He said, what if 40 would be found there? And he said, I will not act on account of the 40. And he said, let my Lord be, let not my Lord be annoyed and I will speak. What if 30 would be found there? And he said, I will not act on account of the 30. So he said, behold, I desire to speak to my Lord. What if 20 would be found there? He said, I will not act to destroy on account of 20. So he said, let not my Lord be annoyed and I will speak but once. What if 10 would be found there and he said, I will not destroy on account of the ten. Hashem departed when he had finished speaking to Abraham, and Abraham returned to his place. All right, that's it for this reading. I hope you enjoyed. Hug your Bibles and read them. We'll talk to you later. Bye.